EA Sports has released the 99 overall Tom Brady, and we're going to be talking about some of the things that go into the card. Um, some of you guys wanted to know if he's worth it. Uh, for the most part, everybody knows that Tom Brady moves like Gary the Snail from SpongeBob. So if that's something that you can accept, you're a pocket player, uh, whatever it is, that's all fine, all right? Um, I do like the fact that, you see, like these cards, you know what's interesting about it, though? I know that these guys were also late rounders, but I can't see myself spending more on these cards than the other cards from other sets just because it's Tom Brady. But you have to spend it just because it is Tom Brady. That's just, you know, it's pretty uh, fascinating to me. Obviously, this guy is probably the best of those two cards there, Rashad Jones, but he's the least expensive, which is also ironic. Almost as ironic as EA putting out a 99 overall card uh, that was a limited that has all 85 plus overall stats. But it doesn't really matter. That's not what we're here to talk about. We're going to be discussing in full detail uh, this Tom Brady situation. Now, for those of you guys that are new to my channel, you can always reach me on Twitter at GMyersWorld, um, Facebook and Instagram at GMyersWorld if you want to send me a line or something like that. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the auction and the trades and we're going to actually look at some of the things that are going on right now. I'm going to point out some things that, you know, whether you understand the game or you don't, it could probably enlighten you. Uh, enlighten you to just understand that we have to get through the remaining months of this game and nothing that really is supposed to make sense is going to logically make sense. All right? Just just so that we're on the same page with it. I don't want you guys to feel like, yo, bro, it's just you see, do you see what's going on right now? You see this guy's price and you see the prices of all those individual cards? That's neither here nor there. But listen, though. This is the interesting situation, right? I have to make sure that with the best of my ability... You guys understand what you're getting yourselves into. Because if I don't do that, then I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. So I'm going to point out some things that's going to be make you make it so that it's very, very clear and you fully understand exactly what's going on. All right? So let's go ahead and break it down. What stats, what traits, what things really matter in Madden 19? The full honesty of it is nothing really does matter because the game is very inconsistent. So let's start off with that as the base, right? If you have a Patriots theme team, you're going to get Tom Brady. What, what is he going to be? He, his power goes 68, then you'll get the three. All right, 71 plus another. So maybe like 74, 75 speed max, right? So he'll be 75 speed, but you know he won't move like a 75 speed because those upgrades don't matter. The players are moving. Wherever the green line is on the base of your card, that's where your players are moving. I don't care who tested what, who said this, who said that. I'm not concerned. That doesn't matter to me. I only believe what my eyes see, and I'm blessed to have, you know, 20-20 vision, so I see what's going on, and this game does not make sense when you power up certain aspects. The only thing that you could probably get away with saying is that if you power up a spin move, the guy will spin more, but theoretically, if you're in the mid-80s to right around the 88, they're going to all spin move anyway. You know, a lot of you guys saw that I did it in Draft Champions. I was spinning around with a guy with like 83 spin. It made no sense. The threshold's 88, but I was spin moving guys like nobody's business. That's just the way the game is. So now, let's take a look at some of the 90s that Tom Brady has, right? All right, short throw accuracy, medium throw accuracy, deep throw accuracy, all 90s, right? Does that mean that he's going to make a throw that Cam Newton can't make? The answer is no. Why is the answer no? Because the 90s are 90s. It is, except for throw power, see, Cam Newton having a 99 throw power, right now, his is 99 without any chem. You can completely see the difference in the throw power of Cam Newton as opposed to any other card. Even like the Mahomes and the Josh Allen that required them to be powered up to get 99. You don't need to power up Cam Newton to get him to a 99 throw power. It's just 99. So what does that mean? Once you start to analyze the game that I've been able to kind of figure out what EA is doing, that 98 does not, he's going to throw the ball, like, he's going to throw the ball the same same way, like a 95, like 94, 95, 98, all of them do the same things. I would try to go down to even saying like 90, but I, I kind of see the differences with the 90. But like what I notice is like 94 to 98, they all do the same things. Even if you power them up, it still doesn't make much sense. You see what I'm saying? So... The throw under pressure, 99, both of them have that. Obviously, throw on the run. I don't know how Tom Brady has a 91. I, he, he barely moves around, but I guess he does throw dots when he's running out. Play action should be higher because we know he's a goon with that. But does play action really matter? We could debate that. That could be a, a very, very debatable thing because, you know, 
pretty much when you cancel play action or you actually have play action, sometimes it does stun the defense. But a lot of that stunning of the defense has to do with nano detection, which makes absolutely no sense and is something that was developed from somebody that probably hates everyone in the world. But look, this is what we're going to talk about right now, though. For those of you that, that really want to understand exactly what you would be getting from Tom Brady, you would be getting a stationary card with like flashy stats that's going to throw the ball similar to a lot of other quarterbacks. Because there really is, with the exception of the way that he'll call audible, the sounds that he makes, and the fact that he moves like Gary the Snail, you won't notice that Tom Brady's throwing the ball if you had somebody with similar throw power and similar, uh, you know, mid-range, medium, deep throw, short throw, all that stuff. It was, it's going to be the same thing. So he's at 600K, so it's not that big of a deal. Like, you're not really going crazy if you already have all the other cards, but he's not really worth, the, you know, going after like that. Okay, it's not really something that I'm like, yo, bro, you should go after it. I don't recommend the card in any aspect. I honestly don't, um, even with theme teams. But if you like, I think at this point, having a theme team is the most exciting part of Madden. So if that's something that you guys wanted to do, that's also something that'll keep you busy with it uh, going forward uh, to make you kind of, you know, stay inclined with the game. But in all honesty, I don't really believe that him having these, you know, like all those nice 90s is going to impact anything on the field. It is what it is. It's just honestly, it is what it is and where the game is right now. All right. So with that being said, is it smart? Is it smart to go like if you're just basing it off of you know, Lamar Jackson being nerfed and Yoji Mai, the cards are not playing the same way. We all know that. I don't know why EA has been doing this. I really don't think that they should continue to do it in 20 where they adjust the game without telling us because they are absolutely doing it and you can see it day to day. Now, it's probably just tuning because remember, they actually tuned the refs off the field. Somebody tuned the refs. There were no refs for like several days. Like somebody just went in there and just... Did, they're showing you that mechanically they can do a lot with the game that is just absolutely insane and ridiculous. All right. So those are the things that I really wanted to touch on. When you look at this fact now, uh, with the way that the late round heroes are, you can now also get a free 98 overall. All right. You can pick from any one of these guys. Similar to this, it's something that you guys should all do. We could go into that, you know, later if you guys want me to go into it, if you guys want me to grind for it. The only reason that I would tell you guys to grind for that is if you wanted to use all of those points and gamble inside the store with the picks. Because other than that, like this, does, this doesn't help me. A free nap player doesn't help me for me to sit there and play 31 challenges. It doesn't really help me at all. Um, what I was going to recommend, like I said, is to make sure you do these solos because on draft day, that's going to add a little bit more spice into the game. To have the new draft players, that's going to be a little bit more exciting. What I want you guys to understand, though, is that the, the, the major part of what I'm telling you still applies. If you want Tom Brady, understand that there are any quarterback that has anything in like the, you know, the mid 90s to whatever is going to do the same exact things that Tom Brady's doing right now. You know, I, I know you guys are so souped up. Yo, bro, yo, G. Maya powered this guy up. Like I said, I do it because I want a 99 overall team. I do not in any form, shape, or size believe that these power-ups make any difference with anything that I'm doing. And again, it's debatable what they do, how they do it, but I just want to make sure that I'm very, very clear with that. If you've already uh, put everything into Tom Brady and you have a theme team with the Patriots, by all means, go for it. Because the one thing that I want you guys to do is to appreciate what the game is. You see, I believe that if we appreciate it for what the game is, we're going to have a lot more fun playing it. I just don't want you guys to think for any reason that anything that you're doing is going to help your chances of making the gameplay better. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, it sounds weird, but that's really what I'm trying to do. Like, this game is by far, like, I, yo, like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it's really, really wild. Yeah, run for six. Run for six. Run for six, bro. And then when you're done, pick my mom's up too. I'm banging Like, what, it, what, like, bro, I'm sending everybody. Like, I don't, well, let me, let me see. I'm going to see how this blitz works. Is everybody crashing down? All right, yeah, we're going to do that. We'll move this guy right here. Move this guy over right there. All right, he's good. Let's go. All right, okay, why is he... Bro, what is he... Oh, he just, threw, he just threw it up. I don't even know what just happened. I think I just figured out another way to turbo blitz because I ran right in there and just started jumping around like an idiot. But anyway, getting back to the whole Tom Brady situation. So look, what I'm trying to, you know, really thoroughly explain is this, right? The Tom Brady card is going to play just like any other card except for a card that's been recently nerfed. Now, 
What do I mean by that? I had to get rid of Lamar Jackson because Lamar Jackson all of a sudden started playing like an absolute idiot. I don't know why that is, but I'm not concerned about it. I don't really care what EA is doing, but I can guarantee you this. If you still have Lamar Jackson, you're going to notice that he's going to be doing a lot more weird things. He's going to be very, very inaccurate for no apparent reason at all. He's going to, um, you know, throw the ball to defenders more than likely. Um, he's just going to be playing a little bit more ridiculous. Now, Cam Newton at this point, I don't know what's going to be different about him once I go into another online game. That I can't tell you yet. For those of you guys that have started playing and, you know, since Tom Brady's out, I don't know if they've changed it, um, you know, in any aspect as of yet. I, I have no idea. But again, it, it's very easy to understand that something is going on with the way that, the, you know, that they play. And this is two years in a row where, for the most part, all the players generally play the same. They all just play the same. It's not, I don't think it's unique. They haven't made it so that it's very unique to a lot of what the player characteristics are. And um, because of the fact that it's very, it's almost impossible to beat somebody deep, that also creates a lot of issues. So I want you guys to understand that while you're investing in it, that they're still going to be doing a lot of the same things. So if you are a pocket passer and you've already gotten Brady to a certain level, by all means, keep powering them up. Don't stop doing it, but just understand what it's all about. Now, for Cam Newton, I told you guys this. That was probably one of the biggest mistakes that I made because I raid sold him and he didn't even do nothing. N-U-F-F-I-N. I raid sold him instantly. He didn't even do nothing. Like, it was crazy. And I just wanted Otto Graham. You guys can go back to the video. I was like, yeah, I'm getting Otto. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Big mistake. Because the one thing that Cam Newton does, even with his other card, you know what I'm saying? Even without the power-up, like his most recent card, what was the team of the week or whatever, he throws the ball deeper than anybody else in the game. And it's a fact. Like, it's not even... It's not even debatable where, how far this man throws the ball. Like, if you, if you lead past whatever you do, he throws that ball like nobody. Like, it's, it's, bro, it's gone. And that's pretty much something that I believe that EA has changed up a lot with. Because in the past, the bigger throw power, they were all able to make the same throws. That's the one uniqueness of Cam Newton that I haven't seen from any other quarterback. The ability to throw the ball with a lob very, very deep. He threw the ball like 70 yards with a flick of the wrist earlier today. No other quarterback that I've ever used, no matter what they were powered up to, chemmed up to, everything. Even Josh Allen was able to do what he did. So it's all up to you how you want to work it. But again, I just want to make sure that I'm very, very clear with it. It's certain aspects of the game that don't really matter with what you're doing. All right? And you guys need to be very, very clear and understand that before you start reinvesting into it. But if you were already invested and satisfied with Tom Brady, please feel free to do so. For those of you guys that have been joining as new members and have been writing me comments, uh, thank you guys so much. I was able to answer uh, some of the comments that were being asked by, you know, asked by you guys once I verify your membership status. Very, very easy to become a member. You can either click the join button that's right below your screen right now where you're watching. If you don't see a, um, a join button, it is, at, it is at the top of the description box so you can easily get to it and have no issues doing that. The, the pick that you just saw right there is what, like I said, we're gonna be using that on draft day to get us closer to getting one of the number one, uh, well, the number one through 30, 32 players that are gonna be uh, drafted on draft day. So definitely get at least those solos done. Um, yeah, and you could also, like I was saying before, you can click the, uh, click the link in the description box, it'll take you to the join. You'll get my emotes, all my badges, all that stuff for when I live stream. But I can also verify that you are a member of the channel and, you know, I'll answer some of your questions until the next time that I stream live on YouTube. I want to thank you guys and girls so much for watching. All you have to say, hey, G. Maya, I'm a new member after you've membered up and then ask your question. And you'll get a couple for the day. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.